and welcome to lovegardening.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take softwood cuttings from Buxus or Box, the stuff that we see all over the UK that's made into lovely topiary like this. Now it's a perfect time of year to take cuttings. This one is becoming a little bit straggly and losing its shape, but I've let it get like that because I want to take cuttings. So you can see these nice long bits here have given me lots of nice soft new growth that are perfect for cuttings. And I want to take sections of it off down to about six inches if I can manage that. Okay, now I've got my cuttings. Now you could put those in a polythene bag really quickly to protect them, but I am just gonna shoot down the shed and put them in the pot straight away. I've got my material. I'm going to fill my pot, and these are, I've used these a thousand times. These are really old pots, so it's really important to keep hold of things like this because you can reuse them every year. Um, I've got some multi-purpose compost, and I've put about, oh, I'd say 50-50 grit and compost in here because it needs to be really free draining because any new little fibrous roots, you kind of want to have an easy way through, and they will if you've got lots of little pockets that they can get through that the grit will help create. So now it's time to cut my cutting and you want to cut straight across below a growth tip at the bottom, straight across. And then I'm going to remove at least two thirds of the leaves that are on the stem, just pull down like that. And I'm going to pinch out the growing tip. And then I've got some rooting powder, I'm just going to dip bottom in there and then I'm going to push my cutting down the side of the pot and it wants to be sunk into about two thirds so all the section where you've removed the leaves is sunk under the soil and that gives it lots of opportunity where all those leaves were are growing points and that gives it lots of opportunity to create lots of roots all the way up that bit that's under the soil. Now just for a label And it's really as simple as that. Now I've got lots more of those to take and I've also got some lavender which I'm going to do exactly the same with. Plants for free. Now all the kit I've used today is available on lovegardening.com as are loads of other how-to videos so it's worth checking out. Now they just need a really good drink. I'm going to pop mine in the greenhouse under the bench so they're not in direct sun. If you don't have a greenhouse, you could create a little mini propagator using a shower cap, just secure it round the pot with an elastic band and keep the soil moist at all times. Every now and again, do lift up the shower cap just to give them a bit of ventilation so you don't get any mould or anything like that um, developing. But other than that, you should have four free boxes plants, well, within a matter of months. 